Peoples. It's your boy, the Grass Ninja. And um, this is probably going to be like a two-parter video. And uh, they're not going to be too related. So it's like, it's not like if you didn't watch the first one or the second one, you'll have to go back and watch it or whatever. But um, basically, let's get right into it. All right, I'm done wasting your time. So uh, just like the thumbnail probably says and the title, you know, so I want to talk about the Boruto series uh, getting darker, right? Because arguably right now, uh, just from the anime, the tone of the anime is shifting slowly into getting more and more dark with, uh, you know, telling Kawaki's story, Kawaki's backstory, uh, the stuff that's about to go down with Jigen. So the anime is slowly, slowly getting darker with the tone of its storytelling. And you could even say the manga, since it's already covered all that stuff, is getting even darker because now we're stepping into the territory of Boruto's literally on death's door. Because at any moment, he could become 100% Osutsuki and Momoshiki could just decide, yep, I want to come back now and manifest his body and fully resurrect inside of Boruto, alright? So, I want to talk about how the series can uh, potentially get, like, you know, how the potential, uh, blah, 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 how the story's getting darker, you know what I mean? So, um, and with that being said, right, so, Momoshiki's plan uh, is to take over Boruto's body, right? And, um, there's like a lot of parallels to, you know, uh, Boruto and Momoshiki and like, you know, Naruto and the Nine Tails, right? And uh, basically, you can like, if you watch all of Naruto, you could, you know, infer or like, you know, it's easy to make the leap to like, oh, Boruto's gonna be fine because Momoshiki's just gonna befriend Boruto just like how the Nine Tails did at the end of, you know, so they're just gonna redo the whole thing over again, right? And uh, the purpose of this video is basically I want to uh, present like an alternative route that Boruto could take with his journey uh, with Momoshiki, right? So uh, I got some notes here. I'm gonna jump right into them. So basically, like, it's so like what if Boruto plus like Momoshiki's relationship turns out being less like Naruto in the Kyuubi's relationship, and it's more uh, akin to like say like. Um, I'm going to jump series here. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm just using this one as a reference because it's a sim uh, there's a similar situation with these characters from this series. And I'm not going to try and get too spoilery with it, but basically, what if Boruto plus Momoshiki's relationships, uh, it turns out being more like Ling, uh, Ling Yao, and uh, Greed from like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, right? So, if you're unaware, uh, Ling Greed, or whatever, you know, Ling or Greed uh, in Full Metal Alchemist is uh, it's basically like the combination of, so that, yeah, I'm going to call him Ling Greed for the purpose of this video, it's like how we have Boru Shiki or whatever. So Ling Greed is uh, in Full Metal Alchemist, he's like the combination of uh, Ling Yao, who's basically the crown prince of this country of Xing, which is like an eastern dynasty. Uh, it's it basically, it's, it's a city or a nation in the east and he's basically one of the heirs to the throne uh, of the dynasty right and then we have greed which is basically he's the embodiment of the main antagonist uh well his greed right so um like greed is like you know homunculus who possesses you know a philosopher's stone which is a plot device uh, used inside of Full Metal Alchemist, um, and for the sakes of this video, you know, I'm not gonna explain what that is, but, uh, so, you know, without getting into too many spoilers, right, Ling's character, for this analogy slash comparison, however you want to look at it, is basically like Boruto's character, right, and Greed's character is gonna function much like Momoshiki's character, in the sense that Greed eventually... Uh, this is the spoiler part, right? So Greed will eventually in the series take over Ling's body uh, When Ling finally gets his hands on a Philosopher's Stone Which for the sake of this video, I'm gonna compare it to the Karma Seal, right? A source of power, right? So the Philosopher's Stone is a source of power, the Karma Seal is a source of power um, So like basically when Ling gets the Philosopher's Stone, Greed takes over, right? Um, so cuz like basically, you know, Greed resides inside the Philosopher's Stone it's just much like how Momoshiki resides inside the karma. Alright, so... Uh, Ling finally gets his hands on a Philosopher's Stone, which, you know... I'm gonna compare it to the Karma Seal, and, um... 
like basically greed for a time successfully takes complete control over Ling uh, until like a certain situation arises where like there's like an even more powerful uh, like there's an even more powerful threat right and Ling greed is like overwhelmed and is stricken with fear which triggers Ling's like soul inside of greed um, basically to call out greed for being weak and showing fear right and uh, Ling basically reclaims control over his body through sheer willpower alone right just through the sheer disgust of seeing like how the, the um, how greed is like this great power that he always wanted to get and he can't accomplish these goals and Ling is there like bro I'm going to switch and take care of this for you you know what I'm saying cuz uh, it, it was really cool so you know watch the watch the full metal uh, brotherhood right but basically like through sheer willpower like Ling is able to take uh, is basically to retake control over his body for a moment in time right uh, to resolve a crisis so like what if um, what if like the Boruto story continues to get darker right and we see Momoshiki successfully take complete control over Boruto but he doesn't like resurrect like how um, Kash and Koji forced uh, Ishiki to resurrect in Jigen's dead body, right? So like he's just completely controlled uh, by Momoshiki, but he's still in Boruto's body. So we just see Boruto running around, speaking in Momoshiki's voice, kind of thing, right? Well, the, like the main purpose of me even bringing up Full Metal and Ling Greed um, is because of how like the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood series shows off or shows us like an alternate route for someone in Boruto's position to take, right? So like, like Ling, Boruto may have the ability to force Momoshiki to switch places with him, like through sheer willpower or um, uh, any other means, right? But I'm gonna say just through sheer willpower for the sake of this video. So like, so let's say Borushiki tries to like, you know, uh, attack the village or whatever, or he crosses some sort of moral line and tries to harm Boruto's family or his friends, right? Boruto may be able to actually fight Momoshiki from the inside um, because we know that like Jigen, like the actual person Jigen was able to like, you know, um, basically like show emotions and stuff. Like he was able to show his presence even though Ishiki was still trying to force his body to do stuff. Cause if you look in the manga, um, Ishiki is basically the one that's fighting Naruto and Sasuke the first time they fight when he's still in Jigen's body and after he successfully immobilizes Naruto and Sasuke he tries to go in for the like the kill and his body like cracks from like you know the pain of using so much power and Jigen begins to cry like forcibly it's not even like um it's not Ishiki crying basically it's a physical reaction from Jigen's body right and Ishiki is like disgusted with the weakness of Jigen's body and that's why he wants Kawaki he's like you can't even handle this much of my power I'm not even using all my power and this little level of power is enough to make you break down all right so that that's basically Ishiki's real reason for wanting Kawaki right so like what if Boruto is able to do something similar but since he's not just a weak monk that uh, Momoshiki just happened to find that he's actually like a prodigy um, and like half Hyuga, half Uzumaki or whatever, like maybe he can like fight off uh, Momoshiki like a little bit better, right? Like when they're in the chakra plane or whatever, so. Uh, where, where did I leave off in my notes? Hang on, because I said I got these notes here. Yeah, so like basically like what if Boruto is able to like fight off Momoshiki from the inside, just like with willpower, right? Similar to how Naruto had to fight the Ninetales, but like it wasn't like this fight didn't take place in the outside world it took place inside of naruto's mind right so or we could even have a situation where like maybe there's even a more powerful Asusuki out there that like actually scares the dog shit out of momoshiki and like basically momoshiki like his will power like decreases just from the fear that he's in right which could prompt boruto uh to like you know proclaim like you know that uh his famous nindo or his ninja way that he's adopted from naruto about never giving up and like he forces the switch and uh basically takes back control over his body so he can save both him and momoshiki from dying instead of uh 
basically sitting there and taking the L, similar to like how when Vegeta in the, the first Broly movie, how when he found out that Broly was the legendary Super Saiyan and he was just broken, like he couldn't even stand. He was on his knees, he was completely useless, just out of the sheer fear and he said, what's the point of even trying? He's the Saiyan of legend, there's nothing we can do, right? So like, what if there's an Osuski like that, where it's like, just, like Boruto has no knowledge of this Osutsuki, so he's not scared. But Momoshiki knows what's up, and he doesn't think he's prepared or strong enough to even attempt uh, to, like, you know, defy this Osutsuki, right? Like, say this Osutsuki uh, is like, you know what? You guys failed. You've been taking too long to absorb the Earth's chakra, so I'm just gonna eat you and take your power, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, like, do the job myself, like, on some Thanos stuff. What if Borto's not about that? He's like, yo, we're not, like, I can sense your fear. I can sense that you don't want to die here this way. So, like, let me handle this because I've got the skills of a ninja. I can think on my feet and do all these, like, I have all these skills that you don't actually have just because you've been relying on just straight power for your whole life, right? So, like, what if, like, uh, Borto forces the switch and, like, like, uh, just, like, while, like, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure it was stated that when Momoshiki takes over, it's kind of like Boruto is watching himself from, like, outside of his body, right? So he can see the stuff Momoshiki's doing, but he can't, like, stop himself from doing anything, right? He said it feels like a dream, so, like, eventually, I'm, uh, with this theory or whatever, I'm thinking Boruto is eventually gonna be able to be more comfortable being in that little realm where he's watching Momoshiki do stuff and he can just switch places kind of like in Yu-Gi-Oh when the Pharaoh and Yami switch places on and off, right? Um, so hang on, because so, I'm getting off track, I just talked about Yu-Gi-Oh, that's not even in my notes, but um, uh, yeah, so like, what if like, you know, they switch places and Boruto's showing Momoshiki his inner strength, right, like Boruto's inner strength which like you know which could slowly have an effect over momoshiki um basically growing more fond of like boruto's values and stuff uh so like if boruto does end up saving both of their lives then like momoshiki may end up seeing the value of like not completely like wiping boruto out of existence and keeping him around just in like the crevices in case of an emergency like that or if he needs like you know some information or you know whatever it may be but like what if Moshiki does grow more fond of boruto's values and it doesn't like switch off where it's like you know what you can use my power whenever it's like no Momoshiki's still all egotistical he's like i'm running the show right so if Momoshiki's gonna run the show, but he's gonna adopt some of Boruto's values, he could end up being like Ling Greed from Full Metal, where it's like, he wants to protect Boruto's family and his friends and Konoha from like, the Usutsuki threat, but he still wants to maintain like, his authority and his, uh, his status as like, you know, the, the main guy, right? So like, this could be like really, really cool, like, so, um, I don't know. That's just me, right? So like if we if you if you've seen Full Metal, then you know what I'm talking about. Um if you haven't, basically just think of like think of Boruto and Momoshiki basically like fighting for control and it could get to the point where it's like it's so common that they can even make like little gag like jokes out of it where like say there's a common enemy and Momoshiki returns to the village with intel about like this new powerful threat and he realizes that he can't do it alone that in that he like him and boruto barely escaped with their lives right and they can go to ho the hokage they can go to sasuke they can go to amuro they can go to kawaki they can go to whoever right to get more allies to prepare for this upcoming threat that is going to face the earth and basically like momoshiki and like Momoshiki can say certain things or be rude to certain people and we can see like Boruto like quickly like take control of the shit and like call Momoshiki out for being a dick. Similar to how like he calls Kawaki rotten and stuff when Kawaki's being rude, right? Like we could see it like develop that way where it's like slowly over time uh, their relationship builds to the point where it's like Momoshiki become like if, Mo if right now we understand that Boruto is becoming Momoshiki we could see it have a similar effect where Momoshiki is slowly becoming more and more like Boruto just because of how 
Boruto's personality and how strong his willpower is, where he's not, like, unless Momoshiki decides to fully get rid of him and fully resurrect, um, Boruto's gonna be there to annoy him and pester him the whole ride, right? You know what I mean? So, it is possible that, like, uh, if this if this situation does occur, Momoshiki sees the value in training in Boruto's body, so that way he can, like, and he can rationalize in his own head for his own evil purposes, where it's like, yeah, I'm training, so uh, we can get stronger to deal with this threat. But my ulterior motive is that I'm also training to make this body stronger and more capable, so when I do resurrect, I'm even more powerful, and I can, you know, take out whoever it is I need to do, and I can be rid of this kid, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna milk him for everything he's got, because he's like, I'm not gonna deny you don't have lots of potential and stuff, So, and using your body to train or whatever would probably be, uh, you know, very smart and beneficial for Momoshiki, you know, so like, we never know, uh, but yeah, that was just part one of this one, uh, you know, we're gonna do a part two where basically, uh, I wanna talk about Ida and her, um, her goal of like attaining a relationship with either Kawaki or Boruto and how like if like if they want to go dark with it how like Boruto or Kawaki could end up like you know if since it makes everyone fall in love with her to the point where they just do anything for her what if she like legit falls for one of these dudes to the point where she acts like the simps that she creates and she is willing to do anything for these boys in order to get a little bit of attention or gratification tiny bit of love or whatever right and that uh, she basically ends up being like misa amane from death note to like boruto or kawaki's light yagami but that's basically the part two and uh, if you made it this far to the video you know what i'm saying uh go ahead leave a thumbs up you know uh comment your thoughts uh what's it called subscribe bell icon all that stuff i'm gonna have you know some little videos pop up here towards the end uh so you know if you want to click one of those go ahead the part two should be coming up on uh later this week so i'll probably drop this one on either wednesday night or thursday morning and then this part two will come out on friday but you know whatever that doesn't matter it's been your boy the grass ninja and i'm out